Welcome back. Today we're talking about maps, how to create maps using R. We're going to be using the SF package. Super duper easy to use. You're going to love this. Let's do it. Boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R programming videos on everything. Okay, so if you want to be able to make maps like this, you're going to need a couple of packages on board. Of course, the Tidyverse, which comes with ggplot. So you're going to want that on your computer, of course, needless to say. SF, that is the package that we're going to use to create the actual maps. And it plays nicely with ggplot, which you're going to see in just a minute. So happy days. GG themes, that's a lovely package that gives you some themes and a maps theme that I'm going to show you that uh, makes things look pretty. And in Natural Earth, this is a package that comes with map data that you can use at home so you can replicate everything that i'm doing at home on your computer that's the best way to learn practice 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 and it also comes with some functions that makes getting the data onto your computer in the right kind of format etc etc super duper easy so stick with me let's do this i was going to say boom shakalaka again okay i'll say it boom shakalaka so the first map we're going to create is a map of the whole world and you can see in the legend on the side here that i have colored the countries by the income group I'm going to show you the code that I use to create this map so you can do this at home. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a data object called world, right? And we've got a function here called NE countries. NE countries is a function that comes with the N natural earth uh, package, right? So we said we've already uh, installed and loaded the N natural earth package. That's giving us the data that we need. The data is there, the, well, the world data, the geospatial data, but we need to tell our in what format we want that data right the first argument is scale scale medium that is the granularity that geospatial data come that you want it and in this case medium is just fine and then return class sf remember we said we're going to be using the sf simple features package to draw our maps so it's going to return a data set that we can use with that particular package right and now we've created an object called world. Okay, what you're seeing on the screen at the moment is bog standard uh, garden variety ggplot. We're taking the object that we created, which is world, we're piping it into ggplot. The first argument in ggplot in this case is the aesthetic. And I'm gonna show you in the next argument how it is that you can put this aesthetic into the geomsf uh, function if you wanted that geometry it doesn't really matter fill equals income and that's because obviously we want the countries you know the color of the countries uh, filled in by the income category now this is the function that you're not familiar with if you're new to the sf package geom fill this is the geometry that that ggplot is going to use and it's going to use the the, the the geospatial data that exists in the world object that we've created to create our map at that point, if we ran the data there, it would create our 